of a penguin, grind it into a powder, and mix it with a chocolate phosphate? <laughs> Is it mad to take the inner pieces of a concertina and saute it with an artichoke? <laughs> Is it mad to squeeze all of the juice out of a Venetian blind <laughs> and mix it with parts of the San Bernardino freeway? <laughs> Is that mad? A little goofy, maybe, but not mad. Why am I so misunderstood? But with this potion, I will no longer be thought of as weak and unimportant. It will make me powerful, strong, virile. But then again, it may only be a laxative. <laughs> Who knows? What a chance. All right. Here goes. Arg! Arg! Arg, arg! What's come over me? All of a sudden, I have this strange desire to take myself out. <laughs> I just took advantage of myself. Tonight on Horror Roundup, Dr. Jekyll and Ms. Hyde. The story of a man who not only turns to the woman he loves, but turns into the woman he loves. Turned from a, a man into a woman. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what possibilities this conjures up. I wonder if I married me, would I live happily ever after? <laughs> Who is it? It's Dr. Kimball. Is Dr. Jekyll at home? Uh, uh, just a minute, I'll see. Uh, Dr. Jekyll, it's for you. <laughs> I'll be right out. Uh, uh, just a minute, let me change into somebody more comfortable. <laughs> Yes. Uh, what's going on? I thought I heard a woman's voice. A woman's voice? <laughs> Uh, Jekyll, you've been acting strangely lately. Why, it's been months since you've attended any of our social engagements. But I've been very busy. You see, I'm standing on the threshold of making a discovery. They may very well change the meaning of the word... fondle. <laughs> Jekyll, you're always tampering with the unknown. Why, when there's so many known things to tamper with? Tamper with pizza. Find a juicier pepperoni. No, I refuse to go into baking. <laughs> well, all right, do what you will. At least come over to my house this evening for cocktails. My cousin Rowena is in town. I'd like to have you meet her. Excellent suggestion. I need the relaxation. Good. What? Wait a moment. I'll find out. Oh, uh, what will she be wearing? What? Uh, it might be embarrassing if we both wore the same thing. <laughs> are you joshing Jekyll or are you just jerky? <laughs> well, I better freshen up. Ah, Dr. Jekyll, come in, come in. Thank you. Mix yourself a drink while I call Rowena. Excellent suggestion. <laughs> so you're Rowena, the beauty. So you're Dr. Jekyll, the goofball. Come, let me drink in the beauty of your eyes, your nose, your lips, your arg. 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 Not now. Can't you see I have a hot cookie here? Do you have a frog in your throat? No, uh, it's uh, just my tonsils. I'll take them out. Excuse me. Uh, you must be Rowena. Uh, who are you? Um, Heidi. Heidi Hyde. <laughs> 
Where's Dr. Jekyll? Well, something very strange is going on here. First, Dr. Jekyll acts weird and has mad convulsions. Then he has to go into the closet to take his tonsils out. Then I hear wild screams coming from behind the door. And then you appear as if from nowhere. The whole thing is so bizarre and ridiculous and unbelievable. And yet, somehow, the whole thing seems to make sense. Excuse me. <laughs> Ah, so you're Heidi. Rowena just told me all about you. Oh. You must be Dr. Kimball. Correct. Yes. May I say that you're lovely. Oh, you really know how to sweet-talk a girl and hurt a guy. <laughs> Tell me, where has Dr. Jekyll been hiding you, Heidi Hyde? Well, you see, he's really been keeping me to himself. We, we spend a lot of time together, but I've never seen him. Did that make any sense? Why, of course, my dear. Sit down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Heidi? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Part of me, part of me wants to hug you, and the other part of me wants to play baseball. <laughs> Heidi, you're that rare combination of woman and freak. <laughs> I'm sorry. Something came over me, I guess. Well, of course, my dear. It's love. Come here. <laughs> love is too no, much for you. No, no, Just come no, here. No, no, yes, no, let, it, let yourself no, go. No, let your body no, do what your inner soul tells you. No. Yes, yes. <laughs> Heidi, is that a mustache? It's what a mustache? Put it on you. Oh, that. Uh, excuse me, I, I think I need a breath of fresh air and some nair. But. <laughs> <laughs> Jekyll, what are you doing there? Voting. <laughs> Couldn't make up my mind which way to go on rapid transit. But where's Heidi? Something odd is going on. Odd? Well, what's odd? Jekyll, you're wearing lipstick. Is that odd for November? <laughs> Stop your experiments. I don't like what's happening here. What if I do stop my experiments? What will happen to mankind, to womankind, to any kind? The world needs my experiments to confuse it. And what about your experiments? Yes, I do have my experiments, but at least I can control my experiments. You, you're a menace to society. Let go of me! No! Let go! Let go! I say, let go! Get your hands off me! Wait a minute. Where's Kimball? I, I was just fighting with Kimball. Don't be ridiculous. I'm going mad. I'm a walking, talking Looney Tune. <laughs> Oh, dear. Here, let me play some music to soothe your shattered mind. Dance with me. Yes. Lovely. Where's Dr. Jekyll? Shut up and dance. You come here often? Oh, only when I want to get away from myself. Oh, I, see. I just love to dip you. Dip? Yes, yes. I'd love to. All right, and ready, and... Oh, be careful, yeah. I... Oh! Oh, you're quite a good dancer. But you're such a strong lead. <laughs> Jekyll, do you think we should stop this foolishness? Well, just once more around, okay? <laughs> Pretending. There is a secret I must tell you. No, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me you're seeing another woman. No, no. I am another woman. Oh. <laughs> then it's the two of us caught up in a triangle. Oh, Heidi, I love you. But due to these foolish experiments of mine, I am not only Dr. Kimball, I am also the beautiful Rowena. Oh, wait, I was wrong. It's a four of us caught in a rectangle. <laughs> well, I still think a marriage could work. A marriage? You and me? Oh, no! How could it work? I mean, what if we were to have children? Who would go into labor? Not me, Charlie. <laughs> Anybody can find problems with a marriage if they look hard enough. It's no use! I refuse to spend the rest of my life in a crowd! 
There is another way. Oh. Come here. I've been experimenting for years on a new potion that splits the chromosomes, divides the genes, rearranges the nervous system, forcing a cause and effect syndrome in the pituitary glands. Uh -huh. Yes, this enables the brain to divide itself into two different entities. It what? The brain divides oh, itself into yeah. different entities. Yes, uh -huh. you have that? Uh -huh. All right. Got it. Got it. Right? <laughs> Therefore, the two of us become four separate people. Ah, oh, it'll never work. All right, here's something the Avon lady dropped off. Oh, that... <laughs> Oh, darling. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, lovely. Oh, no. 